Number three will not be offered. For what purpose does the gentleman from Washington seek recognition? Seeing no gentleman. What's going on? Does the gentlelady from Texas seek recognition? For what purpose? Mr. Chairman, I move to, uh, to strike the last word. G gentlelady is recognized for five minutes. I yield to the gentleman from Washington for the purpose of engaging in a colloquy. Gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Madam Chairwoman, I want to ask for your assistance on an impending threat to our national security. Roads surrounding military installations play an important role in preserving military readiness. Our armed forces need to mobilize quickly, and we need functional road, roads in order to do that. The same is true for other infrastructure supporting defense communities, where our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines live and raise their families. This is a problem all over this country, and a severe one. But it is especially acute right outside Joint Base lewis mccord in the 10th Congressional District of Washington, which I have the privilege to represent, and is the largest force projection base in the western United States. More than 50,000 people report to work there every day. The base is the second most requested location in the entire U.S. Army, second only to Hawaii. Still, I'm thrilled when they get new things, like recently the C-17 weapons instructor course and a security force assistance brigade. What I'm not thrilled about is the frustratingly long wait times at the front gate for JBLM or the heavy traffic diverting through neighborhoods to avoid traffic jams. My very first term in Congress, I introduced the Commute Act to help address these issues. I've been working on the problem every year since. This year, both the House and Senate authorizing committees acknowledge this need by creating the Defense Community Infrastructure Program, or DCIP. This program builds off the Commute Act and encourages infrastructure projects near military installations that are caused by their presence. I know being stuck in traffic is not something unknown to most Americans. We're all too familiar with the horrible feeling of approaching an unexpected slow crawl on the road, but when this affects our military's ability to get to the base, to do the job, and be ready for anything, that is when we can't just sit and sit and wait and wait as I have year in and year out for it to get better. If service members cannot get on and off base, they may decide never to leave the base. But military bases are not islands in our districts. They're integral parts of our community. Expecting service members to stay behind the force protection of their bases exacerbates the civil-military divide and it's short-sighted and foolhardy not to consider the infrastructure surrounding and supporting our installations. The federal government must play a role in addressing military community infrastructure projects. Reclaiming my Texas. time, I want to thank you for raising the issue of off-base infrastructure, and I know you've been working on this issue since your first days in Congress, and I commend your dedication. I appreciate that the authorizing committee has given us a tool to begin to address this problem. Unfortunately, we don't yet know the full scope of the challenge. Before we can appropriate funds to a program like the Defense Community Infrastructure Program, we need more information to define the priorities and ensure that the most urgent needs are met. I yield to the gentleman. Well, I thank the chairwoman very much for acknowledging this program and for your com commitment to work to address it. Over the summer, I will work with relevant stakeholders, including the authorizing committees, the Secretary of Defense, and the Association of Defense Communities, which strongly supports this proposal, to get you and your staff a better sense of the scope of this problem. And I look forward to working with the Defense Subcommittee on tackling this problem and finding the resources to update and repair infrastructure around military bases. Yes, I can commit to working on this issue. If you can give me the details on the scope of what we need to solve, Mr. Chairman, I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlelady yields back. It is now in order to consider Amendment 